Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we are going to help this noob with the Spike Fruit reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Where the actor slam? Oh, there it is! Forward, there's your slam. There's the dump. Before I start this video, I have a question for everyone. Guys, do you think there will be a spike awakening? Comment it on the comment section. But if you're gonna ask me, I'm not sure. But one thing's for sure, I'm gonna reach max level with this legendary fruit. Okay, so let's start grinding. First off, we have the rash skill. I want you to appreciate this legendary skill. It looks really, really strong. <laughs> for those who don't know, you only need to hit the bandit three times with this skill to defeat them. How's that for a legendary fruit? Okay guys, so once you reach level 10, we're going to our next island, the final island, the Fountain City. Just do one galley pirate, as you can see it cannot damage you as long as you're in the wall. Use your Z skill and your left clicks to damage him until you defeat him. With just one kill, you will reach level 24 and unlock your ultimate second skill, the spiky ball. So this is your legendary X skill, but I only suggest you to use it for last hitting the galley pirate, okay? So you're gonna grind here, guys listen, until you reach level 55. Let's check our stats before we leave this area. 30 million defense, block fruits 105. Next area is the pirate village. Our target here is Buggy the Clown. So guys, don't worry. If you follow the stats that I showed you, you can tank the damage. I suggest that you do server hop here until you reach level 75. After that, our target island is the desert. We're gonna defeat the desert officers. So I hope that you noticed that we skipped the desert bandits with just one combo. Check that out, almost half HP. Do that combo twice and easy level up. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 90. Stat check, 60 million defense, block first 150. Next up, the frozen village. Inside the cave is where you can buy the sky jump, the enhancement, and the flash step. And once you buy that, head to the snow bandits and start grinding. Your target here is 105. And after that, mini boss. In this island, the yeti, guys, it is now time to do server hop. My strategy with the yeti, guys, never ever use your Z skill. Make him use his skill first, this one. Because if you use your Z skill, he will use that to counter you and the damage is kinda high. Check this one out. I only survived because I leveled up. We're gonna leave this area at level 130. Let's check our stats first. Melee defense 82, block fruits 226. Next area is the Marine Fortress. Defeating the boss here, Vice Admiral is really easy. My technique is just lure him here, do the wall strat, use your Z skill. Guys, I don't suggest your X skill because this will happen again. And it will disrupt your formation. If you follow my strategy, grinding here will be easy. Our target level here is 220. Next area is the prison. Guys, I have a good news, the warden. And also the chief warden is very easy to defeat. You can use the wall strat again to defeat them easily. You can start defeating Chief Warden at 230, so make sure to defeat Warden until you reach level 230. And with that, you're gonna defeat both of them until you reach level 240. Next up, Swan. So I don't suggest using the wall strat here because we have low HP. So just use your skills, dodge to the side. After that, wait for your skills to cool down and use your skills to defeat him. Guys, you can do wall strat if you can tank his skills, meaning you will put more stats on your defense okay so you're gonna live here until you reach level 350 checking our stats melee defense 266 block fruits 518 next area is the magma village we're gonna defeat the magma admiral here so for the strategy we're gonna use our strategy with swan use your skills dodge to the side until he uses his skill after that when your skills are on cooldown that's the time to hit him with this strategy he will be easy to defeat our goal here is to reach level 425 Next area is the Underwater City. Good news to everyone, remember the boss Fishman Lord? There is a wall strat here, so lure him first. And in this area, you can use your left clicks or your Z skill to damage him. I do, again, I don't suggest using your X skill unless you're gonna use it for last hitting. But guys, again, whatever grinding strategy you're gonna use, as long as you use the wall strat, everything will be fine. Goal here, 525. Next island is the Skylands. So, I'll give you a choice. You can either defeat the royal squads 
There you go. They're easy to defeat because they don't have long range attacks, which is really good for us. Or you can choose to defeat Whisper until you reach level 625, okay? 625 is our target level here. Next up, Thunder God. So what I did here is defeat him until I reach level 675. And next up is the Fountain City. You can defeat Cyborg here. And you're gonna reach level 700 with this boss. Guys, this is the highlight of our first C. So as you can see, I'm defeating Cyborg, right? So a Dragon Foot user attacked me and checked my HP. It's kinda low now. So I decided to fight back. As you can see, I use my X skill here, and guys, we defeated him. But unfortunately, his friend after that went towards me and attacked me. But guys, they helped me defeat Cyborg, so I still leveled up. After this incident, I decided to stop grinding Cyborg and just focus on the Gali Pirates because I think you can defeat them faster compared to Cyborg. Just two X and Z skills and that's enough to defeat them. We will not yet go to the second C. We're gonna grind here until we reach level 725. And before we leave this C, let's check our stats first. Melee 400, defense 700, blocks fruits 1075. Now off to the second C. Okay, so for our first mob, we're gonna defeat the mercenaries. Yes, we skip the raiders. Don't worry with the damage because the damage of spike fruit is still enough to defeat these mobs just by using 2x and 2z skills, okay? We're gonna grind here until level 775 and let's check our stats before we move on to our next target. Melee is 410, defense 710, block fruits 1208. Next is the Swan Pirates, the technique here, same with the mercenaries but use your observation hockey to dodge their skills. Notice that we skipped the Jeremy and the Diamond quest because this fruit has no flight and they're so far away. Okay, so at 900, we're gonna leave this area. Stat check again, melee 450, defense 750, block fruits 1,500. Next area is the green zone. Our target here is the marine captains which is kinda tough compared to the previous one so you should lure them without hitting them. After that, use your X and Z skill and everything will be fine. Okay, just 25 level ups here and after that, next target is Fajita or Fujitora guys. Uh, it's kinda hard to defeat with only this total damage but I still did server hop with this boss. So what's your strategy gamer Nom? Every time I hit him, I will just run and use my Soru, wait for him to use his skill and use my skill. So that's it, if you get used to it, it will be a lot easier. So our goal here, level 1000, you will also unlock a title, the adventure, for our next island, the snow mountain. Target mob, the snow troopers. Let's go straight to the point. Two combos, you're gonna defeat them. Guys, listen, we're gonna do 100 levels here. We're gonna reach level 150. And after that, next island, hot and cold. Target mob, smoke admiral. Guys, check this out. 1x and Z skill. Let me post it. There you go, guys. That's the damage. It's kinda high, meaning the HP of this boss is kinda short, so we're gonna take advantage. We are gonna do server hop until we reach level 1250. For the stats, melee 575, defense 875, block fruits max. Next area is the cursed ship. First enemy here is the ship deckhands. So, guys, just lure four, right? Look for a wall. Yes, you can do the wall strat here. Use your Z skill and your X skill to defeat them. Okay, we're gonna grind here 50 levels, meaning we're gonna leave this area at 1,300. Next mob is the ship stewards. We are going to grind another 50 levels here, which means we're gonna leave this area when you reach level 1,350. Let's check our stats first. Melee 660, defense 1,090, block fruits max. Next island is the ice castle, guys. This is our final island. Wait a minute! I know, I know, there's still the final island, the forgotten island, but guys, for me, it's really hard to use the spike fruit there, so I decided to stay here. Okay, I hope you understand that. Moving on, we're gonna start defeating the Arctic Warriors. Again, same with the previous island, we're gonna level up here 50 times, so it's 50, 50, 50, and when you add it all up, we will reach level 1400. After this, Awakened Ice Admiral is our target. Don't worry, I'm going to show you a very easy strategy to defeat him. Okay, so better listen. First, you need to lure him here. Okay, we're gonna do the wall strat. There you go. You're gonna use your Z skill, right? After that, move away from him. There you go, he's gonna use his own skills. And after that, we are going to use our own skills, Z and X skill, okay? So there you go, just keep on doing that until you reach level 1,500. Yes guys, we're gonna reach that level here. Sorry, Forgotten Island. 
So for our stats, when we reach that level, melee 700, defense 1500, and black fruits max. Do not forget to finish Coliseum Quest. And th I posted this in my TikTok account, this one. So make sure to check it out, Gamer on P8. First time that you will see this, Spike Fruit fighting Indra, right? Okay, so after that, head to the green zone, look for Mr. Captain, and guys, congratulations. We are off to third C. So here is our badge. Time to start grinding. First, our target is the Pirate Millionaires. So let's try it. ZNX skill. Check the HP. Good thing we are still strong enough to defeat these enemies with just two or three sets of skills. Again, we're gonna skip the Pistol Billionaires as well as the Stone. Yes, the mini boss in this island. But why Gamer Gnome? Because he's so far away and he has lots of HP. So we're gonna stay here with the Pirate Millionaires until we reach level 1675. After that, we are moving on to our next island, the Hydra Island. Guys, we're gonna skip lots of mobs here. We are going to target the boss in this island, and that boss is the Island Empress. I decided to go and defeat her because she's near the quest giver, and you can do the wall strat. So here you go. Just lure her inside and do the wall strat. Guys, she can damage you, but don't worry. You have observation hockey. And yes, you can use your X skill to damage her, not just your Z skill. No problem beating her, but the problem is there are lots of bounty hunters here. I've experienced it. Someone with a dope fruit attacked me. There you go. Also, someone with a live fruit. But it's fine. That's part of grinding in the public server. Just be patient. Focus on your goal. So speaking of our goal, our goal here is search 1800, checking our stats, max black fruits, max defense, and 800 melee. Almost there, next up the floating turtle. We're gonna start with the fishman captains. Guys, same with the other mobs, they're easy to defeat. We're gonna grind here 25 levels, which means we're gonna live here when we reach level 1825. Next is the jungle pirates. Guys, we're gonna grind here for a long time until we reach level 1900. And if you are watching my streams, there is a wall strat here. I won't be showing it here. But for those who watch my stream in the page channel, congratulations. Again, at 1,900, next up, the Jungle Pirates. I'm going to give you a choice. You can stay here until you reach level 1,975 or leave this area at 1,925. Why Gamer Gnome? Because at that level, you can start defeating the Musketeer Pirates. You can do wall strat here, which will make everything easier. Again, target level is 1,975. For our final stat check, max defense and block fruits. All remaining stats will go in the melee stat, okay? So next area is the Haunted Castle. We are only going to defeat one mob here, and that mob is the Reborn Skeletons. Why? Because they're easy to defeat and they're near each other. Also, they don't have a fruit, not like the other mobs here inside the castle. So again, we're gonna stay here until you reach level 2075. When you reach that level, finally guys, final island, we're gonna start defeating the Peanut Scouts. Guys, this is my favorite mobs here. You can lure four at a time. And guys, let me be clear about this. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 2000. 299 why gamer no because we're using the spike fruit i check all the mobs and this is the one that will make grinding efficient and faster okay so at 2299 we're gonna defeat the k queen yes gamer no is it possible and you defeat the k queen using the spike fruit yes the trick is the same with other bosses use your z and X skill. Remember, when we defeat Fajita, the, the strategy is almost the same. Just create lots of distance, go sideways. And once you get the timing, everything will be easier. Gamer, no? Were you able to perfect it? No, guys, I was also hit multiple times, but that is not enough to defeat our spike user, okay? So I think that's almost it for this video. Again, 1 to max using spike fruit. I hope that you enjoyed this. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom and GamerNom out. By the way, guys, we also got the body sword again. So I think if you defeat this at max level, you will be able to get the body sword. If you think that's correct, comment it in the comment section. And for the stats, max melee, blocks fruits, and defense. Again, thank you for watching. This is GamerNom and GamerNom out.